Do you know what pulmonary embolism is? Have you ever experienced shortness of breath, chest pain, or coughing up blood? Do you want to learn how to prevent this serious and potentially life-threatening condition that can affect anyone with some natural remedies? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to explain what pulmonary embolism is, how it can affect your health, and how you can spot the signs and symptoms. I'm also going to share with you three natural remedies that can help you prevent pulmonary embolism by improving your blood circulation, reducing inflammation, and preventing platelet aggregation. Hi everyone, welcome back to Dr. J. Lim's Holistic Health Corner. I'm Dr. J. Lim, an academic doctor from the University of Cambridge. I'm passionate about natural health and wellness, and I love to share my knowledge with the latest scientific research evidence with you. Now let's get started. Pulmonary embolism is when a blood clot blocks one of the arteries in your lungs, preventing blood flow and oxygen delivery to that part of the lung. This can cause damage to the lung tissue and affect your breathing and heart function. In some cases, pulmonary embolism can be fatal if not treated quickly. But what causes pulmonary embolism? And how can you prevent it? Well, the most common cause of pulmonary embolism is deep vein thrombosis or DVT. This is when a blood clot forms in one of the deep veins in your legs or pelvis, usually due to prolonged immobility, injury, surgery, pregnancy, or certain medications. Sometimes, the clot can break off and travel through your bloodstream until it reaches your lungs, where it gets stuck and causes pulmonary embolism. So how do you know if you have pulmonary embolism? What are the signs and symptoms that you should look out for? Well, some of the common symptoms include 1. Shortness of breath that comes on suddenly and gets worse with exertion. 2. Chest pain that feels like a heart attack and worsens when you breathe in deeply. 3. Coughing up blood or bloody mucus. 4. Rapid or irregular heartbeat. 5. Lightheadedness or fainting. 6. Leg pain or swelling in the affected leg. If you experience any of these symptoms, you should seek urgent medical attention as soon as possible. Pulmonary embolism can be diagnosed by various tests, such as blood tests, chest x-ray, electrocardiogram, CT scan, or ultrasound. The treatment usually involves anticoagulant drugs that prevent further clotting and dissolve the existing clot. In some cases, surgery or other procedures may be needed to remove the clot. But what if you want to prevent pulmonary embolism naturally? Are there any natural remedies that can help you reduce your risk of developing blood clots in your legs or lungs? Well, the answer is yes. Let me introduce you to three natural compounds that can prevent pulmonary embolism by affecting three aspects of blood clotting, platelet aggregation, coagulation cascade, and fibrinolysis. Platelet aggregation is when your blood cells stick together to form a plug that stops bleeding. But sometimes, they stick together too much and form a clot that blocks your blood vessels. Coagulation cascade is a series of reactions that make your blood clot stronger and more stable by forming a protein called fibrin. But sometimes, your blood clots too much and blocks your blood vessels. Fibrinolysis is the process of dissolving your blood clots by breaking down fibrin. But sometimes, your fibrinolysis is not working well and your blood clots stay longer and block your blood vessels. By affecting these three aspects of blood clotting, these natural compounds can prevent or treat various conditions related to blood clotting, such as venous thromboembolism, deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, stroke, heart attack, and leg pain. The first natural compound that I want to talk about is turmeric. Turmeric is a yellow spice that gives curry its color and flavor. It contains a compound called curcumin, which has amazing health benefits. Curcumin stops your platelets from sticking together too much by blocking some signals and receptors that are involved in this process. Curcumin also helps your platelets work better if you have low platelet levels due to some diseases. Curcumin slows down your coagulation cascade by lowering the levels of some factors that make your blood clot more and raising the levels of some factors that make your blood clot less. Curcumin also stops an enzyme called thrombin which is the main factor that turns fibrinogen into fibrin. Some studies such as a review by Kahanian et al. have suggested that taking 500 mg to 2 grams of curcumin per day may be helpful for preventing or treating blood clotting disorders. 
One of the main challenges in using curcumin as a natural remedy is that it is not well absorbed and quickly broken down by your body. So some ways have been developed to make curcumin more available to your body by combining it with other substances like black pepper extract, phospholipids, nanoparticles, or cyclodextrins. These substances may help curcumin get into your bloodstream and tissues better. Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If you find this type of educational content useful, it would really help the channel if you press the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell. By doing so, you'll be the first to know when I upload new videos like this one. You'll also be supporting me and helping me grow this channel, which means a lot to me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family as well. Thank you so much for your support. Now, let's get back to the video. The second natural compound that I want to talk about is coumarin. Coumarin is a natural compound that gives some plants their sweet smell and taste. It is found in cinnamon, lavender, licorice, and clover. Coumarin has been used for centuries in traditional medicine for various conditions, such as inflammation, pain, infection, and cancer. Coumarin also has anticoagulant properties, which means that it can prevent the formation or growth of blood clots. A study published by Lou et al. tested six coumarin derivatives on the platelet aggregation induced by adenosine diphosphate in human blood samples. ADP is a molecule that stimulates platelet aggregation by activating some receptors on the platelet surface. The study found that all six coumarin derivatives had three main effects. Firstly, it inhibited the active form of GP2B-3A on platelets, which is a receptor that binds to fibrinogen and mediates platelet aggregation. Secondly, all six coumarin derivatives inhibit the release of calcium ions from platelets, which is a signal that triggers platelet activation and aggregation. Finally, they also inhibited the downregulation of CMP in platelets, which is a signal that inhibits platelet activation and aggregation. These results suggest that coumarin derivatives inhibit platelet aggregation by interfering with the ADP receptor-mediated signaling pathways in platelets. By inhibiting platelet aggregation, coumarin derivatives may prevent or treat pulmonary embolism or other thrombotic disorders. Some studies have suggested that taking 50 mg to 200 mg of coumarin per day may be helpful for preventing or treating blood clotting disorders. One of the main challenges in using coumarin as a natural remedy is that it can cause liver damage and bleeding complications if taken in high doses or for long periods of time. Therefore, some ways have been developed to make coumarin safer and more effective by modifying its structure or combining it with other substances such as vitamin K antagonists, flavonoids, or antioxidants. These substances may enhance the anticoagulant activity or reduce the toxicity of coumarin. The third and final natural compound that I want to talk about is vitamin E. Vitamin E is a natural vitamin that has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. It can prevent or treat various cardiovascular diseases, such as atherosclerosis, hypertension, dyslipidemia, and thrombosis. Vitamin E prevents or reduces inflammation and platelet aggregation, which are two factors that contribute to thrombosis. Vitamin E modulates genes and proteins that are involved in inflammation and thrombosis. For example, vitamin E reduces adhesion molecules that attach inflammatory cells to the blood vessels. Vitamin E also inhibits pro-inflammatory cytokines that promote inflammation and plaque instability. Vitamin E also suppresses NF-kappa B, which is a transcription factor that regulates many genes related to inflammation and thrombosis. Vitamin E inhibits platelet aggregation by interfering with signals and receptors that are stimulated by agonists, such as ADP, thrombin, and collagen. Vitamin E also increases nitric oxide and prostacyclin, which are vasodilators and antiplatelet agents. By preventing or reducing inflammation and platelet aggregation, vitamin E can prevent pulmonary embolism or thrombosis. Vitamin E also improves your blood vessel function, reduces your blood pressure and cholesterol levels, and protects your cells from oxidative stress. Some studies such as Garg et al. have suggested that taking 100 mg to 800 mg of vitamin E per day may be effective for preventing or treating cardiovascular diseases. 
One of the main challenges in using vitamin E as a natural remedy is that it can cause bleeding complications if taken in high doses or with other anticoagulants or antiplatelet drugs. Therefore, some ways have been developed to make vitamin E safer and more effective by combining it with other substances such as vitamin C, selenium, or omega-3 fatty acids. These substances may enhance the antioxidant activity or reduce the toxicity of vitamin E. So these are the three natural remedies that can help you prevent pulmonary embolism by improving your blood circulation, reducing inflammation, and preventing platelet aggregation. These compounds have proven benefits for your blood clotting, heart health, and overall wellness. They are also easy to find and use in your daily life. You can add them to your food, drinks, or supplements, as long as you follow the recommended doses and consult your doctor before taking any natural remedies. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to check out my previous video here where I reveal how to boost your leg circulation and get rid of varicose veins.